Hey guys, it's Kate and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I decided to film the makeup that I wore for my 21st birthday on Saturday night. I turned 21 over the weekend, so this is actually my first ever video that I'm filming as a 21 year old, but I did decide to throw a big party. It was on a rooftop in Auckland City and it was honestly the coolest night of my entire life. But I thought this was also like a good time just to sort of sit down and tell you guys everything that happened. Um, maybe do like a little bit of a catch up in general, but yeah. So if this sounds like something you guys would be interested in, please keep watching. So I'm just gonna prime my eyes with some concealer. I'm gonna do my eye makeup first. So my party was actually a white party, so everyone had to wear white in order to get in. Um, it looked really, really cool in all the photos and stuff. But I wore like a little red bodysuit. I'll make sure I'm just like inserting some videos and photos. Um, throughout the video, but I wore like a little red bodysuit and so I matched my eye makeup to my bodysuit just so that it like stood out like a little bit. I used a few different palettes for my eyes. Um, this is just a bunch of Makeup Geek and Colourpop shadows, but I know I started with this sort of warm light brown hair. I feel like I still look so tired. I think it wasn't just because it was like a big night. For the fact that it had been so many weeks, if not months, of organizing for this one night that now I'm sort of just like, like so exhausted that it's over. So I've just buffed that shade all the way through my crease. And I've also blended it up quite high as well. So once that's placed down, I know I took my Modern Renaissance palette and I went in with the shade Red Ochre. And I pretty much just concentrated this right in the crease and just to make it a little bit less orangey. So I feel like I should tell you guys about like my birthday as a whole. Um, honestly, it was the best birthday of my entire life. So much of that was thanks to Ray as well. He like took me out for dinner, organized dessert and stuff. And then the next morning we woke up and he gave me like all my favorite chocolate, little stolen girlfriend club bracelet. I thought that was like my present. I was honestly really excited about it. And then all of a sudden when he's doing my speech at um, my party, he just comes out and tells everyone that he's got us a trip for 10 days in Bali. I've been wanting to go there for so long. And he organized a trip for us to go. And I'm honestly like, so, so, so excited. We go in November. On my lid, I'm just going in with this ready brown shade. So then I moved on to my brows and I've been using the Precisely My Brow Pencil. I don't know if I'm just still super tired or what, but I feel like I just don't know how to do my makeup right now. <sighs> But anyway, it was honestly like the best night ever. Everything just all fell into place. Like it had been a really stressful week um, ahead, but luckily everything all worked out and it looked so cool honestly because since everyone was in white, I like decorated the entire thing to be like floral and like greenery and like garden themed sort of. We're really lucky because so many of our friends um, are like DJs and stuff. And so we had like DJs playing the whole night and it was just like a really happy vibe and everyone was just having a good time. It was like just everything I could have hoped for, you know? And even with the weather, this whole sort of week um, and like the week last week, it was like thunderstorms and all that. And then just on my birthday, it was like just beautiful sunshine the whole day. Since it was on a rooftop, um, Half of it like sort of wasn't sheltered and so if there had been wet, like rain or bad weather we would have had to sort of close off like half the room. And then like the best part was like seeing all those people that you like don't see all the time. And you know like the ones that you think like maybe won't come? Just knowing that like those people all like made the effort to be there. Like I'm talking about people that I haven't seen in years and years and years. It was honestly so cool. I just realized I'm using like the manky lashes that I actually used. And I have a brand new pair right next to me and these ones are not working out. I ended up only having like 40 minutes or something to do my makeup on the night. I, I still really liked my makeup and stuff. But I think, yeah, I would have liked to have had a little bit more time to do it. But it was really cute as well. So I did my own makeup and I did my mum's makeup. And then I booked a makeup artist for my sisters so someone could come and do theirs. And then we all went and got our hair done together, which was super cute as well. 
So I'm just adding some mascara. I've been loving the Paradise Ecstatic by L'Oreal at the moment. So it's definitely like a different sort of birthday look. Um, especially doing something like red and like not having any sparkle or anything. Moving on to the skin, I started with the Becca Primer. I can't remember what it's called. Backlight Priming Filter. <gasps> so last week as well, our family house went on the market. We got it like staged and we had like agents and stuff coming through to look at it. Which is crazy because we've lived here like my entire life basically. Oh. Yeah, we're gonna move to the shore, which will be so much nicer. Me and Ray won't feel like we're doing long distance anymore, which is what it literally feels like now. For foundation, I use the Maybelline Superstay. This is a really good foundation for um, like long nights. I didn't need to touch up my makeup once. Even my lipstick I didn't end up touching up at all. I still can't believe that we're going to Bali. I think his family knew, my family knew, some of our friends knew. So if you guys have any recommendations on where to stay or what to do, please leave them down below. For concealer, I actually used my new Rimmel one, um, but I can't find it. I think maybe I left it in my handbag. But this is my next best thing, which is NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I love this concealer, I always will. Um, but I had really been quite into that new Rimmel one lately. So but my party was at um, like seven till midnight. And then once it hit midnight, we just went to the hotel room and did some shots, which is looking back, I'm thinking I probably didn't need those because then we went out and this is so embarrassing, but for the first time in my entire life, I got kicked out of the club. I fell asleep at the table, but hey, if you're going to get kicked out of the club, make it on your 21st birthday. I feel like you've got permission. <laughs> for bronzer, I used Hula Bronzer, never lets me down. For blush, I just used a combo of these two. This is the same Jouer brush blush palette that I mentioned in a couple of recent videos. I honestly just want to go back to that night. There's like lolly table, I had a beautiful cake. Um, there was like a photo booth, I had like a huge giant floral 21. You'd like a view of the Sky Tower, you'd a view of the Harbour Bridge. For highlight, I used Becca Champagne Pop and I put heaps of this on. I also used it on my inner corner and on my brow. And then I just finished off my under eyes with the same reds that I used. I lined my waterline and my tight line with some black liner just to smoke it out a little bit more. I then just used the brush just to blend it into it below my lash line a little bit. And then I just buffed that in a little bit more with some black eyeshadow. I then just added a little bit more of that mascara. I really like this whole um, smoked out lash line look. And then we're onto lips. It's actually a really, really easy look. For lips, I used a combo of Jeffree Star Celebrity Skin and MAC Blankety. Um, this combo lasted literally the whole night with no touch-ups. To finish off the look, I used the Scandinavia Bridal Setting Spray. And then that was it. I think I've done it a little bit heavier than I did on the day, but hey, it still looks cool. You guys need to give me some ideas for some videos, like what you want to see, whether it's like a actual makeup look or um, some like lifestyle stuff. Um, I was thinking, this is hard though, but I was thinking of doing some content like in terms of like weight loss and like keto and stuff like that. Um, a lot of you might know that last year I lost a ton of weight. Um, doing keto and I really really loved it but then like unfortunately I just had like a lot of mental health stuff happen to me this year um, I've always struggled with my mental health and I sort of had like a three month down period um, I'm out of it now I at least feel like I am so I'm ready to sort of get back into everything but it was really hard because when I was feeling that way I definitely did turn to food um, and I ended up going from like my lowest weight ever to pretty much like my highest weight ever which was really really disappointing um, I was also super anxious about my birthday and just like feeling like I wasn't going to feel very good about myself. Um, but no, I honestly had such a good time and I, I didn't really let those thoughts hold me back or anything either. Um, but I do definitely feel like now I'm back in my zone. Um, hopefully I can 
do some work and get back to sort of where I was and maybe even better. Um, I definitely feel like I've got a much better sort of relationship and stuff with food now as well. Um, but yeah, I was thinking maybe I should document sort of the restart to my journey. Um, but as you can imagine, it's a little bit hard to put yourself out there like that. So I'm a little bit hesitant. Um, but if that is something you guys would be interested in seeing, then I will definitely consider it. So yeah, leave a comment, um, let me know what you guys want to see from me. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!